What's going on guys sin for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the Seattle Seaman here 11 11 and 1 playing the young guns trying to get the ball rolling here uh, pretty bad locker room chemistry hilariously and uh, you know it's not going amazingly well here early on now not too much we could do to improve things we got to just kind of keep uh, riding this uh, this combination here and hope that they can you now push themselves over the top and and kind of just you know be able to find some mismatches here and there um, but I was thinking I think yeah we we might need another center prospect maybe another playmaking prospect I don't know how the scouting pool is looking but there is a possible trade we might be able to make I don't know if I want to make it now it is for both the uh, future and uh, and present obviously there's this Voloshenko guy I don't know if we'll, we probably won't get the top pick but if we do, it would be really good. I don't, I don't know if we'll get lucky two years in a row. I mean, we have a really good chance. After that, it's just a bunch of left wingers, which yeah, you can turn some of those into centers. They don't, they have pretty good face offs if they're, if they're in that top five there. But uh, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, the Columbus pick that we have is looking really good for this year. Our pick's looking decent, but look at how good this Columbus pick look. Look at that. I mean, we're a 500 team, and look at where Columbus's value's at. So it looks like we really banked well with that. Um, Boston and St. Louis's pick's not, not so good, but that's okay. Uh, we still have plenty of draft capital here. And uh, he's not on the block, but he was in the tendered area. Casey Middlestat might be an option to go for. Now, I'm not going to trade for him now, but this is someone we can maybe trade for at the draft, you know? The value is is there. Um, it's it's about around one of those picks. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw in a sweetener, maybe a prospect or something to give them back. But, yeah, we don't really have any any good center prospects really after uh, after that. Um, I didn't want to exit trades, Grant. I just wanted to go and show. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Just click on it again. Um the the only thing we really got here is uh is Medvinov. Martin's not a not a center. I mean he's a winger and I'm I should just change him to right wing now because I'm not going to use him as anything other than that. I mean he's not a center. He's got 60 face off. So let's actually just change that right now. Yeah, we got Sugar Shuggle. Uh I guess someone said me that's how you pronounce that name right there, Shuggle. He plays in WHL, I guess, Shuggle. Uh that's <laughs> It's I yeah I can kind of see that being the pronunciation I will trust your guys' words word or multiple words <laughs> have it your way let's uh, let's edit and change uh, what's his name wait a sec could I have edited other people um I hold on I want to check that in a sec let me let me edit uh, Martin here change him to a right winger. I just saw something very interesting and I want to take another look at it. Some people saying these jerseys are bad. These look beautiful. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> there you go. Right wing for you, Martin. Can I actually go and change people from other teams? Really? Lol, I can. Oh my goodness, that's actually incredible. For real, that. Yeah, it'll let me change people from other teams during. That was not. I don't think that used to be a thing. Maybe it was, and that's how literal I really did of anything. But that's actually really cool. So now, if we see like amazing prospects, like getting into twenty fights here, like you can see sometimes with those two way guys, we could actually go in and make them better okay i'm i'm all for that anyway so i don't think we're gonna be making a trade right now right now um we'll see how the, i want i want to play the young guns and see how this year kind of goes so that's that's the that's the plan right now is the is the is the stick with stick with the process trust the process here keep playing the young guys and uh you know keep building them up hayden flurry fully healed was he out maybe maybe we had pattern in there yeah, we did. Yeah, minus everywhere. Let's get Hayden Flurry back in there. I don't think this guy's gonna be much of anything. 
but if 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 as our defensive core gets better, he might drop back and be listed as a top six, which which would be fantastic for us because he would I would really enjoy using him in my top six. Or we could just stick with Dermot for that and trade Aiden Flurry, which is again always a possibility. One one year, this is last year on that contract. We'll see what his value is. Maybe maybe he's a guy we'd want to trade at the deadline here and hand it over to Dermot. Who knows? But let's continue on here. Good win right there. Let's see. Can we turn this around with the young guns in the lineup? Two wins in a row right there since they've been on the squad. Scouting. Still don't have... I would love to... I, w I wish I could just tell the guy to stop scouting him so I could have sound... Because I don't think he's scouting his goddamn potential. <laughs> but I'll scout a few of these other guys here. Because, again, we might be able to turn some of them into centers. So, let's... Might as well get this. Uh, these top guys scouted. Don't waste any more time with it. At least their potentials and such. Same with you. I don't know if we'll see more uh, elites in the... Oh, well, there's one right there. Guaranteed. Oh, right hand. Ooh, another right-handed elite. Another two-way uh, defenseman, yes, but... Could fit in. Cycle pinch. Two-year ETA. Offensive instincts. Defensive zone play. Weak teammate utilization, but he looks good. Yeah, he looks pretty good overall. Is this guy going to be elite, too? Uh, I don't know. Scouts are targeting these guys. Might as well get them scouted here. All right, those will likely get auto-scouted. All right, let's go by potentials now. See if we could find anything high. Hmm. High starters? High what? High fringe starters? I'm very interested. Very, very interested here. They could also change. Someone mentioned that... Um, a low elite I drafted actually had a medium elite uh, partially scouted, so I guess they can change. Unless I just didn't... Oops, oops, oops. No, use the better scout. We'll get a few of these guys. I doubt they'll be uh, guaranteed elites here. This guy might be. Goalie. Around that area. Another dude, a lot of goalies in this draft. Holy hell. Definitely a lot of goalies here. Oh, he's being scouted. All right, that's that's pretty good right there. That'll be good for now. Let's go down to low elites. A lot of possibles. One gem already, so we want to get him scouted for sure. But we want to get, we want to find out. Come on, give me some more low elites here. The gem's already being scouted. All right, only one scout here. Usually, I think it goes to the best scout anyway. You know, I'll do you as well, because I'm really desperate to find some low elites. This guy actually might be, if it stands with low. Central Scout has him ranked at 16th. Oh, but our scout is pushing him back, so he might actually drop off. Yeah, he could very much be a low elite at that point. All right, any, there we go, yeah. Bend the Han? No, bend the knee. I think I've said that joke every time I see that name. But that's such a weird name. <laughs> Why is that a thing? All right, yeah, get the scouts on top of it, because they have been slacking. All right, that should be good. All right, well, let's go. Ooh, tough loss right there. I was hoping to string day that some wins, but we answered right back of the wins. So the young guys coming to the lineup, we do seem to be sort of improving here. Again, 15, 12, and 1. All right, tough loss right there. We got to beat Columbus. We want to hand them a regulation loss. Keep pushing them down. There you go. Keep pushing them down the standings. Toronto's a great team. We beat them in overtime. Two to one. And all of a sudden, 18, 13, and one. This has been a great month here in December. Another close win. We're starting to win games. We are starting to win games here. And a one to nothing win. Defense and goaltending absolutely stealing us some contests here. Another big win by one goal. Another win by one goal. Oh, and we finally lose there. But what a little streak we put on. How many games in a row was that? Um, let's see. Three, four, seven game win streak right there. Not too bad. And after that, we lost one. One, two, lost one. One, two. I mean, this was a great month. Tremendous month. 22, 14, and one. Burnaby, hilariously, is not doing good. Which is very interesting considering the team that they have. We're now in second in the division. Guaranteed playoff berth. If we hold here, no wild cards here though. But the wild cards are close. Yeah, it's not like the uh, we're completely weak here. We're four points out of first, two points ahead of Anaheim, and five points ahead of EGK. Three points ahead of the nearest wild card spot. Yeah, this is we're in great shape. Locker room chemistry. Oh, excuse me, chemistry jumped up to seventy-two percent. What a month right here. We got to check on those stats. It should have improved a good amount. 
Goals for could go up still, but goals against really improved. Look at that, 2.68. That's got to be one of the top in the league. Almost up to 20% on the power play. Keep improving that. Penalty kill looking great. Best in our, well, tied for best in our division. 85.53 shorties. 9-7-1 on the home ice. 13-7-0 on the road. Last 10, 8-2. I want to actually see how we stack up to the rest of the league with some of these stats because I know that's not going to be, uh, I think the goals against is what I wanted to check out. That should be, yeah, we're third best in the NHL with our goals against that's really good real good right there you like to see that all right let's check out the personal stats here 34 points for uh coil 33 for medvinov 17 goals he is right now almost on pace for 40 i don't think he'll get it but he should guarantee himself 30 35 which would be incredible. Shiri with 28 points, Perron with 24, Felino with 24. We're getting a bit more depth scoring. Holtz has got 18 points on that third line. Not too bad. Yeah, he's got some power play time. He's only got three points on that power play, though. So 15 points, you know, 5-on-5. Five five. He's on pace for 35-40. Yeah, more, more like 35. It's not too bad for a third liner. Not amazing, but he could actually get 20 goals. Uh, Lowry, also 18 points. Kraus, 13. Now let's check the, new, the young bloods coming in here. Where are they at? Would say I have only 10 points, minus two, so the plus minus is getting slightly better. Korolyuk, two points. Martin, one goal. Yeah, not too much there on the on the fourth line, but they're not. Play 14 games, are only minus one. Coming in their age, what they're like, it looks like a Korolyuk's are. Don't. Why do, you, why do you switch to depth? That's so stupid. So listed as freaking fourth line, goes up and overall and is listed as depth. Whatever, I'm keeping them there. They're playing pretty well, and our team has been playing real well. So yeah, let's take a closer look at the defense. Yes, the plus minus is starting to improve here. So it's good to see Shanahan actually with 10 points. Hilariously, Mr. Defensive Defenseman. Bootsayev as well with 10. Look at that. Actually impressive. I'm more impressed with Shanahan because he's in the top six. <laughs> Hayden and Flurry with 12 points. Interesting. How are the goaltenders doing? Yeah, Freddie Anderson, man, doing real well. Comrie, not as good. Now this is another trade trade bait kind of guy here we still have Brassois to call up but if we make that at this point now it's like whoa we might make the playoffs so now I want to hold on to Comrie in case of an injury to Anderson Comrie can hop in there yeah definitely but yeah Freddie Anderson great stats right there look how many rookies we got playing five rooks on the team that's a quarter of your uh, lineup right there <laughs> that's a lot of rooks and we're, we're starting to turn things around we're looking good so let's see we're going to keep trending this in, in that direction. we got a big game against Anaheim. They're right below us in the standings in the Pacific. So can can we get a big four-point game here and come away with a win? Big four-point win. Come on. No, a shootout loss. It's not too bad. We get a point, but they do they do, they do do creep up on us in the, in the divisional standings. Come right back and get two points in the east. Ooh, ooh, and then we lose in reg. Then we lose in reg again. All right. Faltering a bit here. Faltering a little bit. Uh, Hayden Flory's been injured again. That's not really what we want. Especially with Pattern having to hop in there. Ah, yeah, whatever. I Got to get some wins. There we go. Big win against Florida. Kind of stop the bleeding here. Can we get a couple big back-to-backs here? Nashville's not a good team. We got to take those easy points. Oh, man, we lost some regulation to them. But then beat LA. Flory's back. That's good. Need him back. We don't have a really great defensive core, but that's why we have Freddie Anderson. He makes bad defenses survivable, at least in the first round, or until the first round, I should say. All right, scouting report. Let's see. Volshen He's still being scouted, so I can't get his fucking potential. I hate that. Stop being annoying. Danny's being scouted, but yeah, elite, elite, as we thought. Here's a playmaker, Bobby Yashin. Weak shot utilization, still really good. Playmaking, offensive creativity. He should have pretty good um, face-offs. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on. I want to get this guy scouted because he could he could turn out to be elite. Because look at that. Both of these guys could turn out to be elite. I definitely want to get Kip, Kip Sillinger scouted. Because so we're going to have some picks around here. Maybe not our own anymore, but that Columbus pick. That's turning into something. Ooh. Let's get Pete Brodziak scouted as well. He is a guaranteed grinder, which is interesting. A tenth overall. Might as well get this guy scout. He has a chance to be elite. We got an A scout there. 
And this guy still. He's he keeps dropping back, but I still think he has oops, didn't mean to click on him. Really good chance to be in a uh, low elite there where he's ranked. All right. Uh, looks like the other goalie fell off from elite standing, but there's one guaranteed elite goalie right here. Not too bad. Already getting you scouted. Get this guy. Definitely keep focusing on the goalies here. Because they would be pretty good value. You, I don't think he'll be anything, but still. He can only be as low as a medium top nine if the scout's correct right now. So I definitely want to take a look at that. Alright, go down to the lows here. Come on, any, any more? Any? Nope. Still struggling. Being scouted. They also, a lot of them are just probably like dropping off too. Like, we get them scouted a bit and they drop down like, I don't know, low top nine. With some scouting. Got the gems being scouted still. Keep going, guys. Any more low top sixes? Maybe some of them dropped out. Yeah, a lot of them dropped out of there. But I want to I wanna get the scouts still on them because they still have a chance to jump back up. So keep on it, scouts. No slacking allowed. Keep it up. People want me to play Eshel. Can't do it. There we are. Alright, that should be good for now. Yeah, it'll be good for now. Ugh, tough loss to Vancouver. That's not good, guys. Not 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 as great of a month as last month. If we can get a couple wins here at the end, we'll be in still in good shape. I mean, we're still in good shape, but ooh, big big trade here. Buffalo gets a first, a seventh, and Laguerre for Cole. Wow. Unless Laguerre is anything good, that was pretty good trade for Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, they had to give up a third and Rowney, but that's pretty good. All right, good. We got a big win against Philly and a big win against Minnesota. 27, 18, and 3. You know what? Let's... How many games in this next one? Yeah, there's a lot of games. Let's get these last two back-to-backs. Can't end on a game, though. Can't do that. My OCD, it does not let me... Johannes... No! Johannes Johannesson! <laughs> He's been injured. Get in there, my son. Brisebois. Yeah, don't worry about that minus 3. Oh, look at Burnaby, dude. They, they were like at 500 at one point. Look at him jump up. 27, 18, and 6. Actually, how many freaking games did they win in a row? Because they, they were, no, seriously, they were like a 500 team. Look at that crap. Holy hell. Look at that. <laughs> when they start, look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 game win streak. Then they lost one, came back and won two. They lost a couple now, but that is impressive. All right, yeah, we won those other two games too, eight to three, and then six to five in OT. Twenty nine, eighteen, and three now. Looking real good. Oh, Medvinov ahead, and dude, he's not. I mean, whoa, he's yeah, he's on pace for forty. It's still close, still close, but I think he could do it if he keeps up what he's doing right now. I'm gonna check the growth here. Oh, he's up to an eighty eight. Oh my goodness, he is growing. Growing, oh man, the goal scoring's up. Yeah, goals against went up a bit, but power play's going up too. Penalty kill went down slightly, but it's still it's still up there. We got four shorties. 13, 10, and 1 on home ice. Still not great on home ice, hilariously. 16, 8, and 2 on the road. 6, 3, and 1 in the last 10. Not as good as last time, but still positive. And we're two points out of first, but Anaheim has a game in hand. And we have both wild card slots in our division now. Look at that. Even at 52 points, we are pretty much guaranteed a playoff berth unless we completely crap the bed. We're ranked ninth in the entire league. Not bad at all. Really not bad at all here. We're turning around. The young guns are getting the job done. 45 points for Medvinov. Two ahead of Coil now. 24 goals. Trust in the process. The young guys are getting the job done. Felino. Has 41 points. The first line has really exploded. There's Shiri with 40. There's Perron with 35. Holtz has got 29 now. Oh my goodness. He really jumped up. Whoa. Look at that. He must have. Whoa. Holtz is now on pace for 40, maybe 50. Wow. And he's definitely getting 20 goals. Unless he goes on a Donskoy-like slump. Lowry with 28 points, Byron with 24, there's Fox with 20, Kraus, yes, some minuses here, but look at that, Coral Uke back to an even, although Martin isn't, 5 points for him, 2 goals for Martin, 80 overall for you, 78, but Martin's got better, 
And Ennis has played three games and got an assist. <laughs> Defensively, uh, Butsayev has got 18 points. Now he's starting to come. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's up to an 83. Yeah, he got some growth. Yeah, got to start worrying about that if we're getting him enough ice time. He hasn't complained. Yeah, he's starting to complain. He's starting to complain about that ice time. Ugh. All right, might have to move him up, shift him. Petrie with 15 points, Shanahan with 13. They're still a bit minus, but that's okay. Might mix things up here. We'll see what we can do. I might take a look at that right now. Uh, Anderson's still doing pretty damn good there. Comrie not as great in the backup role. He actually, he doesn't even have the points I demand out of him. He has 12 points in 14 games played. Not enough. Oh, Comrie, you got to step it up, man. It's you're you know you're not playing great and you're not getting us wins. I wouldn't mind these stats if you got me the points in the games played, but you are you're you're behind schedule right now, bud. Got to step that up. All right, let's check out some growth here. I'm interested. We've definitely had some growth. I want to check it out where it's coming from. Let's see. All right, Medvinov, yeah, he's definitely grown. Coyle's got that stat growth. He probably will maintain it after this a year like this, too. He's got 43 points. He's also got morale growth. Yeah, he's just really been boosted up. Medvinov, though, he's got some filthy growth. Passing's up to 90. Awareness is up to 90. Discipline's at 92. Poise is going up. Deking, pal, man, he's just good. God, that's that shot. <laughs> Wish his wrist shot was a bit more accurate, but you can't things you don't know, know he's perfect. That's still a ridiculous shot. Uh defensively he's getting better too. Face offs are getting better too. He's up to an 82. S still a great skater. He's actually starting to get more aggressive, maybe laying the body. Fighting skill went up by one. Did he fight or something? Or is he just maybe uh Do we even have a tough guy on this team? I was gonna say maybe someone's showing him the ropes. But we don't really have a tough guy on this team right now. <laughs> maybe Carlo. <laughs> I don't know. He probably fights a bit. He's 25. Lowry? Yeah, Lowry probably showing him the ropes, but Lowry's a big boy for you. Alrighty. So that's the growth there. Wait, did we not have any to... Uh... Oh, yeah, we did have a little bit. There. I didn't. I just didn't look at the green. He's got a bit. Yeah, he's got a bit of natural growth. Some morale growth here and there. What about... Oh, the dude was up. He went up in overall. Maybe it's just morale. Holt hasn't grown, neither is Martin. Bit unfortunate, but they got time. Yeah, they still got time. All right, Samson. <laughs> Calm down there. Svoboda. Svoboda. God damn it, that's so hard to pronounce. I don't know why. 80 overall, man, at 18. Look at his growth. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that defense. His awareness could get be, could be higher, but for his overall, it's not too bad. He's looking good. Kennedy also grown. Gail Kennedy. 70 overall at 19 now. Top 9 guy grew. It looks like, okay, good. Rensfeld is growing still. Good, 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 good. We need another good offseason jump. Yeah, he's on pace still. He's still on pace to crack that NHL and be a number one. And he's, he's number number one. His number is number one as well. There we go. Words are hard. Aubrey, he's getting closer to being on pace now. If he can get more growth like this, ugh. That's not great. Although, was he already at 20? He actually might be turning 21. So he really needs to explode here towards the end. Are we missing any uh, growth here? Yeah, Tikhanov. Sergei Tikhanov hasn't grown. He might not be getting a lot of ice time at 52 overall where he is. Might be a thing. But, yeah, I mean, we still got time. And everyone's a lot of guys creeping up slowly but surely, and some of the you know you're not gonna not everyone's gonna pan out. But Gundler, you know he could be a, like a third, fourth line guy. That's no big deal. Sundstrom, he's looking solid. Though both those guys were third round, but our first round. But this guy was you know the last pick. Uh, yeah, I like it. Getting plenty of growth. All right, looking good. Let's continue here. Let's get up to that deadline. Let's get up to that deadline and reassess. Because we're kind of looking like a playoff team right now. Yeah, we probably won't go far, but we're looking like a playoff team. So let's see how we do in the month of February here prior to the deadline and really get a feel for what we're going to do. Who are you? Defensive depth, huh? What do you like? I don't... Bel, Bel Pedio, I do not recognize your name whatsoever. Not looking like you're worth it. So let's decline that. Oh, big shutout win against New Jersey. Johannes Johannesson's back. 
Get back in there, son. It's a plus three with Breeze Boy in there. I'm honestly tempted to scratch this guy just so the team will be better. I might do that in the playoffs. He's not a high, high priority prospect. 20 years old, top, low top four, only 62 overall. Not a high, you know, high priority guy. But again, we don't actually have a lot of true, true prospects here. We got Sundstrom, Nordgren, kind of. But other than that, that's about it. Defensively, nothing really besides Aubrey. But giving him a better partner would probably help him out. Although they're not actually doing bad. They're plus players, so. <laughs> Who knows? Tough loss right there, but we get a point. You can't hate getting a point, man. So let's go. Six to two. All right, another trade here. Miller and Olofsson to Chicago. Two defensemen for a first and Zharkov. Probably not a great prospect. Only 56 overall. Interesting. Chicago making a run for them playoffs. Arizona, great record there. Can we beat them? This is a big four-point game. I didn't see because another trade pop up. Oh, my God, this is a big one. Le oh, Poirier better be a really good prospect. Yeah, Letty 84 plus a 4, 6, and a 7. For Poirier in a second and a third. Interesting trade right there. Uh, another trade, Barbashev and Husso uh, to Montreal. Saad and Wheel back the other way. Uh, no, we lost to Arizona. In a shootout, though, so we still get a point, so it's not the end of the world. I doubt we're not going to hit 40 reg wins, though, before the deadline. We're not that kind of team yet, and I hope we don't get too many more reg losses. Another trade. To, yeah, it's kind of a nothing trade. I wish, I mean, I guess they're considered blockbusters. A lot of pieces going back and forth, but I thought it meant it would just, like, give you, like, big-ass trades. I really need to start turning notifications off. Oh, three wins in a row. That's what you like to see. Hopefully you guys don't mind that crap, though. <laughs> Doesn't block too much. Stastny, a second and a third, going to Columbus. Vegas gets Ryan, Mur or someone Murray and a third. Is it? I forget. Forget his name. Big win right there. Four in a row now. Stringing them together. Rangers, not a great team. Can we take some easy points off them, or will they surprise us? We get the win. Two to one. Not easy, but we got the two points. Columbus, force them further down the standings. Come on now. Force them further down the standings. I want to see that record. Dude, it's Simmons taking a while. I bet some trades are coming through. Something's happening. Something is happening. Uh-oh, is the NHL 19 slow slim back? Not exactly. Force him further down. Come on. It's not showing me. It's not showing me. It's trolling me. A first in Jitnik to the Islanders for Lee Hornquist and Dell. That's a big one. Jitnik probably a top six prospect. Yeah, for that kind of value, looks like it. Arizona loaded up for the playoffs. Ooh, tough loss against Toronto, but we got a point. And yes, indeed, we forced Columbus further down the standings. Dude, they're 22, 34, and 6. What a decision it was to get that pick. It is paying off dividends right now. Yikes, look at the, the Dallas is just so stacked. So stacked. All right, well, here we are prior to the deadline. And, uh... Oh, Medvinov, his scoring pace slowed down a large amount. Didn't he have like 24 goals last we checked? Yeah, that was a... He only got four goals in that stretch right now, so might not even hit 40 at this point. Yeah, unfortunate. He'll hit 30, pretty much guaranteed, but probably won't hit 40 now. Unfortunate. Damn, I was really hoping that he could keep that up there. And we are top of the division right now by one point, but we have a pretty... A, a, we have secured a playoff berth, either first or second, most likely, unless we really fall off and Oilers or VGK passes us up. But we have a, we have ourselves a playoff spot, pretty much guaranteed. Although, wild card, it's getting close, but now we're still up there. Looking good. Let's see. Let's see how we stack up. And I, I want to see how we stack up to the rest of the league now, too. So... Yeah, you know, 3.13 goals for, 2.6 goals against. So that's a pretty good ratio. Power play dropped a bit, below 20% now. Penalty kill, 83.5, second in the division. Four shorties, and home record vastly improved. 20, 10, and 2. 17, 9, and 4 on the road. 7, 1, and 2 in the last 10. That's a very good record. Looking real good here. Yeah, I want to see how we stack up with some stats to the rest of the league here. Like goals for, wow, a lot of teams scoring a crap ton. Where are we? Way down there. Where Where is that? Like middle of the pack. Yeah, middle of the pack in goals for. Goals against, on the other hand. Top. Top in the league in goals against. 
So just imagine if we had more scoring depth. Tempted to go, tempted to grab something like that for the playoff run. I really am. Let's see. Oh yeah, power play percentage. We'll check that. Probably not great. Yeah, probably go from the bottom. I think we'll be middle of the pack still. Yeah, pretty middle of the pack. So special teams, probably all of it's pretty middle of the pack here. Although, penalty kill, top five. Fifth exactly. So not bad in that regard. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a competitive team right now. And the great thing about this is we are only going to get better. Med, Medvinov, 56 points with 28 goals. Looking solid. Not quite point per game, but there you go. 54 points for Coyle, 52 for Sherry, 47 for Felino. He's getting at least 50, maybe 60. There's Perron getting at least 50, 43 points. 20 goal score probably as well. Holtz, 36. Yeah, he kind of dropped off a bit. Only got 7 points in that stretch. But still, 20 goal score already. He's going to get me 40 points on the third line with 20 goals. Yes, he's got power play time. But still, he's, he's showing that he could maybe be, be a little something here. So that's good. Lowry with 35 points. Maybe 40 goal or a 40 point guy on that line as well. Byron, he's on the top line, bear in mind. He's getting carried. <laughs> All right. 29 points for Fox. Uh, 12 for Coral Uke, 11 for Martin. And they are plus players, heavily plus right now, too. So that line of Fox, of Coral Uke, and Martin really getting the job done. You like to see that. And you know what? They were If they played an entire year, they'd both be on pace for 20 points on the fourth line, which is not too bad. No special teams time, no nothing. Not too shabby, especially for Rooks, man. Yep, I like it. Let's go to defense here. 22 points for Butsayev. Is he still? Oh, he grew up even more. Yeah, he's really going to start complaining. I think I got to push him up to get better ice time. He hasn't complained. He's only complained like twice, but... He keeps growing. I, th I think we got to make some changes here. I, I held off because we were playing so good still. I wanted to keep the right combinations. I was really thinking about putting him in there last time, but now I think I really got to think, uh, really got to consider that. Shanahan complaining as well. Not really. All right, goalies. Oh, man. Freddie Anderson's stats keep getting better. Comrie's stats are keep getting better too. Now he's got 14 points in 16 games played. So he's trending in the right direction there. So if he keeps that up, he might be on pace. But I still like him for the playoff run here. And he is not complaining about ice time whatsoever. In fact, he likes his ice time. We are playing him a fair amount. Not a crazy amount, but I'm surprised that listed being listed as a starting goaltender, he's not actually complaining about ice time. That's good for us. Keeps our, keeps our locker room chemistry trending in the right direction. So looking real solid there. Let's check out those progress reports here. I like it. And now we got a decision to make at the deadline. Do we actually pick up a piece with all the draft capital we have with maybe some of those later first round picks? Because we, I think we got an, enough medium top six type guys here. I didn't, I don't think. Did he grow? No, I think this is the same. I think his shot blocking and stick checking went up a bit more. Maybe not. Maybe that was what they were. Yeah, I think he's pretty much the same. Boots I have, though. Jump to 86. It's Oh, it's because he's only got like a few stats increasing. His passing going up. Ooh, awareness didn't, but his discipline did. But at least his passing and awareness are pretty close to each other still. Slop shot power going up. Get that accuracy up, bud. He's so good defensively. 89, 91, and 91. That's so filthy. That had to have grown. He did not start at that, did he? No. I don't think it's I don't think it's illustrating some of his growth here. Like there's there's no way that's all of it. I mean, he's grown up to an 86 from 80. There's no way that that's it. All right, I think that pretty much does it. Poor Shanahan. All right, Kennedy. Good growth there still. Sundstrom, more growth there. He is really catapulting in the AHL. It's good for us. Momstrom is actually growing a bit now. Yay. <laughs> Uh, Aubrey, yay, still growing, but yeah, 66-21, not looking great for Aubrey here. Tikhanov has grown, that's good, we needed him to start growing. Oh, he's actually got quite a bit too, yeah, big jump there at the deadline. And Rensfeld, still around the same amount. And all of our elites are growing now, all of our top six are growing a bit. Yep, growth from everywhere. 
So what you want to see, how are your stats? Hilariously not as good as they should be as an 81 in the AHL. But I mean, I, yeah, the scoring's up and stuff, so it's not bad. Not too bad, all right, well, here we are. Maybe we're actually buyers here for a playoff run. I th here's the weak point in my eyes. I'd package Byron together, probably with something else. He fits really well on that first line, yes, but if we can improve upon that first line, keep the second line as it is, that is tremendous scoring depth. And I'm keeping Shiri there because he's doing real good. And he's an 86 on this line when it's like this. These two should be 91s. Like, that's insane. <laughs> and they're, they're really producing here. That could create some mismatches there in the... Uh, ooh, Fox is dealing with a bit of something right now. Uh, can really create some mismatches uh, come the playoffs. And especially if we can get someone here who would fill in and maybe really help with our, uh, our top line. Let's actually see what we can maybe get. Yeah, it'll be hard to ship off Byron. He's been here a while, but age 32, like he's only getting worse. Let's actually see what kind of value we can get for Byron in a first if we can get some kind of right wing rental. Where's Byron? Oh goodness. There he is. So add asset. I think I could add more assets, right? Yeah, let's say our own, because we want to bet on ourselves, right? And Boston keeps making it to the cup finals, so <laughs> let's add those two in. Oh wait, no, since Boston keeps making it to the cup finals, maybe we do want to put theirs in. Well, let's start with ours. Let's just say yeah, that's what we're doing. Let's find a trade on the open block. We can get... Oh, my God. They're saying Skinner. He's got six years left. Can't do that. Uh, Boone Jenner, maybe. Renberg, not really. Atkinson? That's a possibility. He's got four years left. I'm, I think I might just want a rental. Dubnik, what? Or Martin Jones. Apparently, they're thinking we need goalies. That's really silly. Yeah, no one here with like one year left besides Jenner, and that's not exactly what we're after. Atkinson, I wouldn't be too perturbed about, but the four years left, I'm not super excited on. If it was like two years, I'd consider it. Four years is a bit much. Oh, wow. Look at what the values are. I mean, we must not have accurate value on Atkinson. I got to check that now. Where even is Atkinson? Oh, is, he, is this because he's on here? It's not going to show him? That might be the case. No. That's actually pretty close to accurate. Maybe he's demoralized. Can I check his morale? Huh. Not really liking that. I'm really not liking that. No, he's. I mean, he might be demoralized, yeah, but... I don't know. I'm not taking. Obviously, not going to take on that kind of contract with that amount. So let's say we remove him and that pick. Who's this? Josh Anderson, 84, power forward. Not too bad. How would he fit? Only forward line two. I wish. You know, we need someone who would fit in on our top line here, so that wouldn't be it right there. Okay. Well, let's keep this in mind. See who else might want one or a couple of these. And see what they have in the right wing spot. Nothing there. Nope. Tip it, kinda. But. Where would he fit? Ooh. Ooh. He would really fit into a lot. Why is he on the fourth line, really? That's got to be bad scouting. There's no way he should be on that fourth line. Dustin Brown. 84 guarantee. One year left. No extension. I mean, that's very low value. We can get him for almost nothing. Would he fit on the first line? No. Only a third line. Okay. Nope. I was all... Yeah. For a minute there, I was considering Dustin Brown. I know. Crazy. Gallagher. Four years left. Nah. Not for Gallagher. Auberg. Not really. Okay, I was like, wait a sec. That's Joey Anderson. <laughs> Hosang, one year left. Ah, uh, he's got uh, it's a two-year extension. That's not too bad. What well, okay, okay. Let's see. Is he he would oh my goodness, he would fit in onto that top line. Tends to struggle with the desire to win. I don't like that. Especially come the playoffs. 
But he's, he's really well built. And he would he would fit in onto that top line. Yeah, but we'd have to hold on for two years. Man, if he didn't have that extension, I'd almost go for that in a heartbeat. Because that's easily obtainable with that value. That's an idea, though. Ho Sang's an idea. Uh, pretty much not going to be able to grab either of those guys. Holy hell. It's Connor Brown. Might have some stack growth there. Everlay. Yeah, three years left, unfortunately. Pens don't have any right wingers. Timo time, two years left on that price, and he'll he should be UFA when he comes off. Oh, it doesn't tell you? Okay, I guess it only tells you in contract screen. There's Timo time. Now, it probably doesn't make sense that the Sharks would want to give him up. They've been rebuilding. He's probably part of their rebuilding plans. Hurdle, Timo, they don't want to give either of them up. Still got LeBanc. What are they even be? No, they're, oh, they're still kind of trying to win now. Yeah, there's Doug Wilson. What's their record like, though? Really bad. They would, I mean, I, oh yeah, they want the pick. They want Byron. Uh, him or Hurdle? Hurdle's got one year left, but oh, he's also extended. So they've extended him. Timo Meyer might be the guy to go for. Would he fit in? Mm, second line. Damn it. How about Banker? He would fit in on the top line. Obviously, he's not going to be as high as that. This is his last year, but he is extended. Huh. There's also Bailey. There's also Foley, but these two are the ones to go for. I'd say LeBanc probably like 83, 84. There, there, there's an idea there. They don't fit perfectly, but it's pretty good. Obviously, none of these. Let's just go back to right wingers here. No. Mm, Kasperi Kapanen is not extended, but that's a lot of value on that. Yeah, that is a lot of value. Paton, on the other hand, isn't. How would he fit? He, he would fit in on that top line and power play and penalty kill. So Nick Paton would fit in, and he is an 85 guarantee. And if he fits, oh, he's got three years left. But that's a really good contract that he's on. And we're not really strapped for cash at all. And honestly, that would I think Toronto would love to do this because then they could they could probably afford to re-sign Kapanen at that point. Paton, I like. I really like Paton here. Playmaker, too. Ooh, his awareness looks a bit on the lower side. But I think he might be able to work out for us. He's got some decent production, not anything great. Where's he playing? Second line, second power play. Still could be good for us. And the contract length doesn't really matter. That'll be a movable contract if we need to get rid of him. And he's a very serviceable guy. 25, 85 guaranteed, right in his prime. Kapanen would be better, but I don't think that's way more value. Like, you compare that value to what we're giving up, not even close. We'd have to give up a lot more. Unfortunately, they don't want either of these things that we're giving up. But for Paton, I could see us maybe being able to get that. But let's keep, let's keep looking. We only got a couple more teams here to look through. There's also Levo. The value's at least close, but I don't know. That's a little worrying. I don't have a lot of information. There's also Tuck. That terrible contract, though. I mean, it's good in this game, but in real life, it's pretty dumb. March or so. Nah. I mean, three years left. Yeah, would he fit in? He would fit in on that line and all power play and all that. Uh, they are not. They don't want to give him up, though. And the record, last I checked, was kind of, yeah, they're in the playoffs. So that won't work out. No one really here besides Oshi. <laughs> that contract. Ehlers, but nope, and nope, and that's it. Maybe Sprong. Let's take a quick look at Sprong. Low value, doesn't fit in our top line. Well, there's a few names in there that I think we should keep an eye on here for that kind of value. I'd be willing to give up that. So, uh, what do you guys think? Anything jump out at you guys? I, I mean, I was really liking Paton there, and before him, Ho Sang wasn't too bad, but I didn't like the maybe lack of the desire to win. Paton might be the pick, but Ho Sang had the better offensive stats. So it's a give or take when it comes to that. But we have enough draft capital to make this work. And especially if we chose to give up Boston's pick instead of our own, we'd have a lot more. So 
that's something else to consider in there as well. So trade deadline, let me know what we should do, guys. What are your ideas? But this will be since signing off. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one.